Hi, in this episode of the beginner's guide I want to continue with some additional canvas options that I missed to tell you the last tutorial and these can be very useful when you work on your projects so the first thing I want to do here is to transform this image and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise now next thing I want to do is go to image canvas size and what I missed to tell you here is that you can use a different symbols here to quickly subtract divide add multiply these numbers here so for example if I wanted to multiply the width by 2 I can enter star 2 hit enter to apply this and you see what this did to our canvas with here you can of course divide if you want to let's say by 2 you can add let's say 200 pixels or you can subtract also you can do the same thing to the height and if you lock this chain here you can affect both the width and the height for example star 2 and you see how this works I'm going to reset this and another trick that I want to show you is I can copy the width here control C then I'm going to enter star 2 click enter to apply and then the X offset here I can enter the copied number here control V and then if I hit enter notice how this image will move over here and the new canvas space will be applied over here and now I can click to resize this for that I can also tell you that you can change here different metric systems if you're going to print maybe you want to use inches or some other metric systems here so let's click resize now and now something that I wanted to do with this image is to just duplicate this then with the flip tool click then I can use the M key for the move tool I can zoom out a little bit click here then hold down the control key this will prevent it to move up and down and now I can zoom in here And next thing I wanted to do is just right click and use this flatten image option. So you see how quickly we created this effect. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that it was useful. Subscribe, like the video. That's it for now. Bye. I'm going to continue right after I resize the canvas. Duplicate this. Then with the move tool holding down the control key move it over here. Then I'm going to use the flip tool then select this layer go to layer to image size and then I'm going to use the align tool instead of the move tool which is the more correct way click shift click on this one then use this option and then I'm going to flatten the image and you see how this is now aligned correctly instead of trying to adjust it with the move tool which is a lot more time consuming 